NBC's Tammy Leitner joins me now from Baton Rouge. And Tammy, I understand you have an eyewitness, someone who says that they were there when this shooting occurred. Thomas, that's right. Just in the last few minutes, a second video of the shooting has emerged, and it was shot by the owner of the store. I'm here with him right now. This is Abdullah Muflahi. And Abdullah, what can you tell me? What did you see? Uh, well, when the cops pulled up, I uh, was walking around the counter. By the time I made it outside, they were already slamming him on top of a car. Backed off off of him then and started tasing him. Um, another cop ran, tackled him onto another vehicle. From there, they went onto the ground. They both, uh, both officers were on top of him. One was saying gun. The other guy, uh, I don't know which one that shot, but they shot him six times. And did you see, did Alton Sterling have a weapon with him? I saw the weapon come out of his pocket when the cop went in there to take it out after they had shot him. So you're telling me you didn't see a gun until after he was shot how many times? Six times. Six times. Yes. And where were you standing when you recorded I, this video? I was standing by, by the uh, um, store door, maybe two to three feet away from them. Um, it was up close. Now, you had surveillance video. Yes. Cameras that got this on camera, but yes. this is a different video that you shot, correct? This is a different video. The surveillance cameras was, uh, the uh, police uh, took it. Uh, they didn't let me in back in the store after the shooting happened until they had uh, came and took. They said they had uh, a search warrant, but I was never presented with a search warrant. They took the cameras and never gave me their search warrant. Did you see Alton Sterling resisting police? He was confused. He didn't know what was going on. I think if they took the time to tell him what was happening, what was going on, I think it would have ended up different. And you've known Alton for a number of years, is that yeah, correct? Yes. And he comes out here all the time and sells his music? He sells music out here. Um, he, don't, he doesn't have problems with anybody. He doesn't cause problems. He's always smiling. He's a nice guy. Um, the video that we saw that you shot on your cell phone, have you turned that over to police? No. Okay. No. Um, we'll be turning it over to FBI or any, uh, anybody, else, uh, any other, anybody else other than that's going to be investigating other than the police. Thank you so much for talking to us, Abdullah. And Thomas, as you heard, the Department of Justice has taken lead on this investigation. They will be heading it up along with several other agencies. And Tammy, just to confirm for everybody, the two officers involved placed on administrative leave, they also had body cameras on, but they are saying they did not work? That's correct. The chief of police, uh, during a news conference just a while ago, he said that both officers had body cams, but apparently during the struggle, those body cams fell down. Now, there was also a dash cam video, we're told, and so we're requesting that and we're working on getting it, but we have not seen it yet. All right, NBC's Tammy Leitner on the scene there in Baton Rouge. Tammy, thank you very much.